In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, the darkness night. Then God said, let there be a space between the waters to separate the water. So dry ground may appear, and that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the water seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with vegetation every sort of seed-bearing plant, and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came, and that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants, and trees with seed-bearing fruit. Their seeds produced plants and trees of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the third day. God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day, and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God sent these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and evening passed, and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures, and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. said, let us make human beings in our image, to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. 
So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person, and this is how God creates us.